In this short video, I'm going to show you how I prepare my skies for Lumen R4 AI sky replacement. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I actually go about creating the skies for Lumen R. The first thing is, this is the sky I'm going to use. This is from the Millerocky Bay. It's the Millerocky Bay tree. And as you can see, I've removed the tree as best I can using Photoshop. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to decide where I want the crop to be. And I'm going to go around here for the crop. Then I'm going to use the crop tool, bring it up. So I'm quite happy with that. And I'm going to go about there. I'm not worried about this and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to click OK. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my background colour to a mid grey. So say around 1, 3, 5. I'll set it around there. Click OK. Then I'm going to use the eraser tool and I'm going to set the opacity around 68, 70 as the opacity. As you can see, I've done one of these already. So I'm going to take the brush up to around that size, click once here, hold down shift and click once there and that should draw a straight, a straight enough line across that and actually that's too high for me so I'm going to take it back a bit, I'm going to go about there and take it to around there and I may drop the opacity ever so slightly again and start this side and go across and that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save the file. So the image will be save as. And I've created this one before. So I'm just going to call it the same thing. GMC Dramatic Sunrise Sky. Click save. In this, this case it will ask me to replace it. Click replace. Click OK. I've got my image prepared. I'm going to use the sky in just for the sake of this video. So next thing is filter. Skylum Software Luminar 4 and that's us in the beta version of Luminar 4 and again the UI isn't locked down but just for the purpose of this video I'll show you this. Go into Creative, AI Sky Replacement, Sky Selection, go to the bottom, Load Custom Sky and as you can see it's sitting here and amongst the rest of the skies that I've created. Click Open and the sky should drop in around now. There you go. And there's my gradient there. The horizon blending, as you can see, takes care of this. If I pull up the horizon blending, it goes further to around there. That's the reason I created the erase edge, so that I've got a nicer blend in this. I'm going to move my horizon position. I'm going to take it down to around here. I am going to check my entire image. There's a gap there that I see. Advanced settings. I'm going to go into Sky Local. That should take care of that gap. As you can see it is. And again, there you go. That's the gap gone. Look around for more gaps. There's none. I'm also going to edit this video, but I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to go ahead and edit it just for the sake of this video. So it's a nice short video. Here's the edit now. Hopefully that made sense to you and the reason I erase with a mid grey background instead of putting a gradient in like I said in the previous video is because now that I'm using the software more and more I can see what yields the best results for my images. If you've enjoyed this video, big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell and you'll see when the next video comes up. Thanks again for watching.